Hi, and welcome to Run Tall with Tim, the YouTube channel that's dedicated to all runners everywhere. I'm Tim, and today I'm gonna to demonstrate how you can tie a runner's knot. A lot of times in my videos, you'll hear me say that I don't typically run with a runner's knot, but once in a while I do tie them. Sometimes it's just to use up some extra laces. You know, Hoka lately seems to be sending me shoes like in the Rocket X or the Carbon X2 with laces that I think there's enough there that I could tie a dozen shoes. But so sometimes I'm just using the runner's knot simply to use up a little of that extra lace so it's not dragging on the ground and I don't have to triple or quadruple knot my shoes just to keep them from dragging. Uh, but that's not necessarily the intended use. That is a use, but the intended use is to give you a nice, secure lockdown feeling in the heel. And sometimes you'll hear this uh, knot or this method of tying your shoes as a heel lock knot. And, you know, I've had a little bit of discussion with some people that have been watching my videos and subscribers who have commented and simply asked the question, what am I talking about when I, when I say that I you know, use a runner's knot to use up some of that lace or that I'm not using a runner's knot typically? So I thought I'd just demonstrate for you. It's only going to take a couple of minutes, but I think it's well worth the time to learn if you don't know already. If you already know, that's awesome. You know, maybe just make a comment in the section below uh, the times that you find it most useful uh, to use a runner's knot, or if you have a pair of shoes that that you pretty much have to use a runner's knot to get that secure lockdown feeling in the heel. Because I think that's good information to share as well. Some running shoes, uh, they just fit perfect right out of the box and I don't need to do a whole lot with them. And not all running shoes have the extra eyelet in order for you to use a runner's knot. So, uh, you know, if you have some information that you want to share, be sure to include it in the comment section below because I know that runners who watch these uh, videos all appreciate the information that you share. And this is a community about sharing. So having said all of that, let's just get right into it. Now, when you're tying a runner's knot, basically just lace up your shoes like you normally would, but you leave that last eyelet open. So you're going to see that, and not all shoes have this extra eyelet, but you're going to want to leave that extra eyelet open to begin with. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the lace on that same side and you're gonna poke it through that hole. So rather than crossing over, you're gonna poke it through here and you're gonna pull it just enough so that you leave a loop. Now sometimes I'll just stick my finger in there like so. So now you've got a loop on this side. Now we're gonna turn the shoe and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So again, we're gonna take the lace and we're gonna poke it through that hole creating a loop and we'll pull it not quite all the way. So again, now we got two loops there or a couple of ears, however you want to think about it. And then we're going to take this side and we're going to poke it right through that opening on the other side. And then we're going to do the same here. So we're going to take the lace. We're going to now cross it over and we're going to poke it through the loop that we created. Now all you have to do is just cinch your shoe down. And then you would tie it the rest of the way as you normally would. So that's it. That's a runner's knot. Uh, now, you'll be surprised at just how tight you can get that. So that's something just to be a little bit aware of. You know, once in a while, once in a while, I'd say probably at least, you know, once a week or so, I have to stop. If I'm running in a runner's knot, I'll have to stop on my run and kind of loosen it up a little bit because a lot of times I might get just a little bit too overly aggressive. And then, you know, that's not very comfortable when you're out running. So just be aware that you might have to um, adjust the tension that you create there because you can, you can really lock your foot down using a runner's knot. There's a ton of different ways that you can lace your shoes, but this is probably the most common way that runners will tie their shoes when they want to get that secure lockdown feeling in the heel. Hey, I hope you guys found this to be useful. Uh, if you did, maybe give it a thumbs up. As always, run tall, run strong, be kind to one another. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.